guys, Crazy HD here. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on why I think Infinite Warfare is gonna suck. So, number one, I'm not getting it. So, I'm not, and I'm not talking shit. I'm not a bitter, bitter Call of Duty fan. But this isn't a real Call of Duty. This is fucking Destiny. And I think that's probably the first time you guys have ever heard me drop the f bomb. But it is Destiny. That's what it is. Um, specialists flying around. I'm surprised I didn't put spaceships in there, and like the, I forget what they're called, but like the little jet ski looking things that you fly around on in Destiny, your, your motorcycle I guess is what it's called. So number one, it's going to be a complete ripoff of Destiny, and Destiny's already a good enough game. So if you want to play a game like Destiny, why don't you just go play Destiny in the House of Irons DLC? I don't have that by the way. Um, next, I feel like, okay, so I said it earlier to one of my friends, Gino, I said, COD 4 is good because it's simple, and I feel like Infinity Ward is going to mess that up. I feel like Infinity Ward is going to change the whole kill streak system, change like so much things about it. Besides, like all they really need to do is bring back, the, bring the game, upgrade the graphics a little bit, and then they can call it a remaster. But I highly doubt that that's what Infinity Ward is going to do. Now I did hear a rumor and a leak. There was a leak somewhere that Infinity Ward will be releasing COD 4 separately. So if that's the case, I'm going to I'm going to buy that if it turns out good. But at the same time, I kind of feel like they're going to mess it up somehow, and it's not going to be as simple as it was. And that was the reason COD 4 was so good because the the gameplay was it wasn't hard. The only thing they really need to fix about the gameplay is the spawns, because the spawns really kind of suck on some maps, especially um, Backlot or whatever it's called. I was playing it earlier, and I spawned in the same spot three straight times, and I had just gotten killed in that same spot three times. I think that's the map, Backlot, I'm not sure though. Um, don't quote me on that. You guys know COD 4 is my favorite game, so if they mess this up, I'm done with the Call of Duty series. I already am not getting Infinite Warfare, it's the first pod I haven't gotten since MW3. Um, if you guys don't know, MW3 got me into the COD. So that's another reason I feel like Infinite Warfare is going to suck, because people aren't getting Infinite Warfare to play Infinite Warfare. People are getting Infinite Warfare to play COD 4. If they had heard the same leak as me, there would not be nearly as many pre-order pre sales. The only people that really are going to like Infinite Warfare, I feel, are the people that really like Destiny. Now, I really like Destiny, but like I said, if I want to play Destiny, I'll play Destiny. I'm not going to play another game that's that's 80 bucks to rip off of Destiny, if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, what I was saying, though, I feel like the only people that are going to like it are the new people at Call of Duty who got into it in Advanced Warfare, got into it in um, Black Ops 3. Or maybe people who are just trying it out and they're gonna like it. I feel like, it, from what it sounds like, it sounds like you die really fast from what I've heard from some of my friends. And it sounds like it's not gonna be as good of a game as some of the other games. I think the last decent Call of Duty was Black Ops 2. And that's my second favorite Call of Duty behind COD 4. So, I really think that they just need to go back to making Call of Duty the simple game that it was. Because the reason it was so good was they didn't try too hard. They tried to change things up a little bit, but it needs we to go back to, to the past. Ahead. That's what people want. People do not want another futuristic game. Why do you think Battlefield 1 is selling so well? Why do you think we have lost almost all of my friends that play COD and want an older game have pre-ordered Battlefield 1? Because Battlefield 1 actually looks good. Battlefield 1 released a beta. Battlefield 1 was pretty good in the beta. The only thing I didn't like about the beta was that there was only one map. They could have at least had like two or three maps. And the only thing that I have heard negatively about Battlefield 1 is it's historically inaccurate. But you don't play video games with historical accuracy unless you're talking Assassin's Creed. Um, and even that isn't really historically accurate. I mean, there's some. I mean, they do have that thing where any major character you kill, that's the actual date, time, and location of their death or something. But. Um, like if you killed like Benjamin Franklin or something, and like I, that's just an example. Um, so if you want a historically accurate game, you play games that are made for historical accuracy. 
Battlefield 1 is made for entertainment. Battlefield 1 is not made for historical accuracy. And I don't really like these futuristic games. Destiny is good because it, like, kind of started the whole futuristic thing. Well, I mean, Halo started the futuristic thing. But Destiny is the one who made it modern. They, they changed it all around. Bungie did a really good job with it. And that's why kind of Halo's dying. Um, Halo 5 wasn't really that good. And I know I'm supposed to be talking about Infinite Warfare, but I am comparing the Infinite Warfare to these games. And that is the reason it's going to suck. Because it's so much like every other game that it doesn't stand out. The only thing that stands out about it is the th first three words in the title, Call of Duty. And that's the reason people are going to buy it, is for those first three words, Call of Duty. That's why I think Infinite Warfare is going to suck, plus I hate Infinity Ward. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, comment on Twitter, be down, switch below. As always, guys, I'm crazy HD. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great day. See you.